Welcome to Military Upgrade. The Antonov An-225 Mariah is a strategic airlift cargo aircraft that was designed by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR within the Soviet Union during the 1980s. It is powered by six turbofan engines and is the heaviest aircraft ever built, with a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. It also has the largest wingspan of any aircraft in operational service. The single example built has the Ukrainian civil registration ur 82060 A second airframe with a slightly different configuration was partially built. Its construction was halted in 1994 because of lack of funding and interest, but revived briefly in 2009, bringing it to 60-70% to completion. On 30 August 2016, Antonov agreed to complete the second airframe for Airspace Industry Corporation of China, not to be confused with the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, as a prelude to commencing series production. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a large military transport aircraft designed and built by Lockheed, and now maintained and upgraded by its successor, Lockheed Martin. It provides the United States Air Force, USAF, with a heavy intercontinental range strategic airlift capability, one that can carry outsized and oversized loads, including all air certifiable cargo. The Galaxy has many similarities to the smaller Lockheed C-141 Starlifter and the later Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The C-5 is among the largest military aircraft in the world. The C-5 Galaxy's development was complicated, including significant cost overruns, and Lockheed suffered significant financial difficulties. Shortly after entering service, cracks in the wings of many aircraft were discovered and the C-5 fleet was restricted in capability until corrective work was completed. The C-5M Super Galaxy is an upgraded version with new engines and modernized avionics designed to extend its service life beyond 2040. The USAF has operated the C-5 since 1969. In that time, the airlifter supported U.S. military operations in all major conflicts including Vietnam, Iraq, Yugoslavia, and Afghanistan, as well as Allied support, such as Israel during the Yom Kippur War and operations in the Gulf War. The Galaxy has also distributed humanitarian aid, provided disaster relief, and supported the U.S. space program. The Boeing 747 Dreamlifter the Boeing 747 Dreamlifter is Boeing's answer to the same issues Airbus has solved with its Beluga XL. It provides an efficient way to transport large components for its 787 production line from Japan and Italy to North Charleston and then Washington State. The result is another absurd-looking aircraft with a bulging fuselage, although unlike the Airbus product it is the rear fuselage that swings open, allowing for a less complicated redesign of the base airframe than the Beluga XL. Four second-hand passenger 747 were acquired for the program and modified in Taiwan with the huge unpressurized cargo deck and swing tail. The other obvious change is the removal of the Series 400's trademark winglets due to excess vibration issues. The first test flight was on August 17, 2006 and type certification was achieved on June 2, 2007. The Antonov An-124 Ruslan the An-124 Ruslan, designed by the Antonov ASTC in Kiev, Ukraine, is a very large cargo aircraft with a payload capacity of up to 150T. It is manufactured by the Aviant State Aviation Plant, Kiev, and Avastar, Ulanovska, Russia. The aircraft is designed for long-range delivery and airdropping of heavy and large-size cargo, including machines, equipment and troops. The aircraft is based on the An-124 Ruslan military transport in service in the Russian Army, which has the NATO reporting name Condor. The An-124 entered service in 1986 and more than 55 aircraft were built. The An-124-100 received type certification in 1992. Volga Napur Airlines of Russia has 10 An-124 aircraft. Palais Airlines of Russia operate 8 An-124 aircraft. Aviant State Aviation Plant in Kiev completed an An-124-100 from parts in stock which was sold to the United Arab Emirates in 2004. Seven An-124-100 aircraft were operated by Antonov Airlines, based at London Stansted Airport, in partnership with Airfoil Heavylift. 
Antonov Airlines did not renew the contract for this partnership in June 2006. Antonov signed an agreement with Volga Napur Airlines in August 2011 to modernize the fleet of an 124-100 Ruslan into an 124-111 VD standard. The overhauled aircraft will have a maximum takeoff weight of 402 t, a cargo lift capacity of 150 t, a flight range of 5,000 km with a 120 t payload and a minimum crew of 3. It will be powered by advanced 3M series D18T engines compatible with the full authority Airbus Beluga XL. Airbus Beluga XL Airbus newest airplane that regular passengers won't be able to fly on is now flying full-time in Europe. The Beluga XL cargo plane just entered operational service and is now transporting Airbus cargo, CNN reported, following months of test flights. The Beluga is a cargo plane designed to transport major sections of Airbus planes to its assembly plants in Toulouse, France and Hamburg, Germany from suppliers around Europe. It flies pieces as large as the middle and rear fuselage of an Airbus A320 airliner or the wing of an A350 widebody. Airbus also uses a fleet of barges and trucks to move components around Europe. The Beluga XL will take over for the current generation a 300-600 street Beluga that has been in service for two decades. Since it's based on the Airbus A330 200F freighter, the Beluga XL is larger, with greater cargo capacity, and is expected to deliver superior performance than its predecessor. The Beluga derives its name from the whale to which it bears a striking resemblance. In fact, the new Beluga XL is even painted to look like the animal. According to Airbus, it decided to build the Beluga XL in November 2014 as a response to the greater transport and Boeing 747. The Boeing 747 is a large, long-range wide-body airliner manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes in the United States. On September 30, 1968, the first 747 was rolled out of the custom-built Everett plant, the world's largest building by volume. The first flight took place on February 9, 1969, and the 747 was certified in December of that year. It entered service with Pan Am on January 22, 1970. The 747 was the first airplane dubbed a jumbo jet, the first wide-body airliner. The 747 is a quad jet, initially powered by JT-9D turbofan engines, then GEC F6 and Rolls-Royce RB211 engines for the original variants. With a 10 abreast economy seating, it typically accommodates 366 passengers in three travel classes. It has a pronounced 37.5 degrees wing sweep, allowing a Mach 0.85, 490 kn, 900 km per hour, cruise speed, and its heavy weight is supported by four main landing gear legs with four wheel bogies each. The partial double-deck aircraft was designed with a raised cockpit so it could be converted to a freighter airplane by installing a front cargo door, as it was initially thought that it would eventually be superseded by supersonic transports. The Airbus A380 The Airbus A380 is a wide-body aircraft manufactured by Airbus. It is the world's largest passenger airliner. Airbus studies started in 1988 and the project was announced in 1990 to challenge the dominance of the Boeing 747 in the long-haul market. The then-designated A3XX project was presented in 1994. Airbus launched the 9.5 billion euros, 10.7 billion dollars, A380 program on 19 December 2000. The first prototype was unveiled in Toulouse on 18 January 2005, with its first flight on 27 April 2005. Difficulties in electrical wiring caused a two-year delay, and the development cost ballooned to 18 billion euros. It obtained its type certificate from the European Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, on 12 December 2006. It was first delivered to Singapore Airlines on 15 October 2007 and entered service on 25 October. Production peaked at 30 per year in 2012 and 2014. However, Airbus concedes that its $25 billion investment for the aircraft cannot be recouped. On 14 February 2019, after Emirates reduced its last orders in favor of the A350 and the A330neo, Airbus announced that A380 production would end in 2021.
Stratolaunch. The Scaled Composites Model 351 Stratolaunch is an aircraft built for Stratolaunch systems by Scaled Composites to carry air launch to orbit rockets. It was announced in December 2011 and rolled out in May 2017. The aircraft features a twin fuselage design and the longest wingspan ever flown, at 385 feet, 117 meters, surpassing the Hughes H-4 Hercules flying boat of 321 feet, 98 meters. The Stratolaunch is intended to carry a 550,000-pound, 250T, payload and has a 1,300,000-pound, 590T, maximum takeoff weight. It should release its rocket at 35,000 feet, 11,000 meters. The aircraft flew for the first time on April 13, 2019, and shortly thereafter, the company announced it would halt development of its air-launched family of launch vehicles following the death of Stratolaunch founder Paul Allen in October 2018. The company ceased operations the next month and placed all company assets, including the aircraft, for sale for US$400 million by June 2019. Cerberus Capital Management acquired Stratolaunch Systems, including the Stratolaunch aircraft, in October 2019. Stratolaunch announced in December 2019 that it would now be focusing on offering high-speed flight tests. Tupolev Tu-160 Tupolev Tu-160 is a supersonic, variable-sweep wing heavy strategic bomber designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s. It is the largest and heaviest Mach 2 plus supersonic military aircraft ever built and next to the experimental XB-70 Valkyrie in overall length. As of 2021, it is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft, the fastest bomber in use and the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing airplane ever flown. Entering service in 1987, the Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. As of 2016, the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation branch still had 16 aircraft in service. The Tu-160 active fleet has been undergoing upgrades to electronic systems since the early 2000s. The Tu-160M modernization program has begun with the first updated aircraft delivered in Boeing 777-9. Boeing will need to complete more 777-9 analysis and assuage regulatory concerns, including those related to design changes, prior to the Federal Aviation Administration agreeing the jet is on track to meet certification requirements. That is according to a recently released letter in which the FAA outlines concerns and says it is unlikely to issue the 777-9's amended type certificate until mid to late 2023. The given timeline does not mean a fresh delay for the 777-9 because, in January, Boeing pushed back its first planned 777-9 delivery until late 2023. The letter, dated 13 May, highlights changes Boeing is making to the 777-9 and mentions lack of clarity about progress toward certification in Europe. It says the FAA needs more information, including about a major software architecture called the Common Core System, CCS, before considering the 777-9 to be on track to certification. The 777-9 has seating for 426 passengers and a range of over 7,285 nmi, 13,500 kilometers. The 777-9 first flew on January 25, 2020, with deliveries expected to commence in 2024.